hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper if this is your first time here welcome today is going to be a what sold video I do show you these items that I bought for cheap sold at a higher price so that you can learn these items and keep an eye out while you are out looking for your own business so we do have about $900 going out on eBay today and over $200 going out on other platforms. We have sales from Mercari, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace that I am going to show you, so let's get started. All right, so $900 is not a bad weekend. If you hear the thunder it is storming here like I mean thunder lightning pouring down rain so up first this one actually sold over on Mercari this is a pie holder I got it at the antique mall for only three dollars believe it or not it's a pretty cool little pie holder here and it sold for $25 over on Mercari plus shipping making it about a $20 profit up next is this giant Pooh Bear I think I paid 99 cents. Well, actually, this came from a lot. This is from the barn haul I got, and that was a long time ago. And I only paid like 40 bucks for like a full trailer full, so I'm less than a dollar in. And this guy sold for $24 over on Mercari plus shipping, so he'll be about a $20 profit as well. Plush is a great thing to keep an eye on and check on. This one took a long time and he's big. So if you don't have a lot of room, I would make sure the plush that you are picking up has a good sell through rate. And what I mean by that, you see how many are listed on eBay and then you can filter to completed and sold and you want to see about the same completed or sold or more. The more that is sold compared to listed, the faster it will sell. Next is going to be a brooch from that $3,600 auction haul. I bought a lot of 15 of them. I did pay about $10 each. This one sold for $19.49 plus shipping, making it about a $7 profit. But the reason I bought that lot was there were a lot of brooches that were worth quite a bit more money. None of those have sold yet, so that lot is not yet in the profit. But even still, this will be about an $8 profit. Up next is this Michelin Ireland map. I did get this from my YouTube BFF Dale. I am about 50 cents into this. It sold for $7.49 plus the buyer paid shipping, making it about a $6 profit. So maps and ephemera sell. This one's been listed about two, two and a half months now. So not very long, but the nice thing about maps is they do not take up a ton of space. Up next is this book, Robert's Rules of Order Revised. This was in one of my box lots. I figured I'd look it up. I am pennies and it sold for $7.87 plus. The buyer paid $2.89. This is going media mail and this will be about a $6 profit. So if you get books in other lots, definitely check them out. I, as far as books, typically will only pick up sets while I'm out sourcing that are like a bunch of the same author or genre so that I can lot them up and have a better sale. Up next is the first sale from my Yadro haul. She is not Yadro, she is Dresden, and she is this beautiful Ireland lace little figurine. And I paid, I paid $21 for her, and she sold in less than two days for $74.99, making her over a $40 profit, and the buyer paid $8.50 in shipping. So this was a great sale. So keep your eye out for these. Some of them are worth more than others. A lot of them are not worth anything. I did pass up quite a few in that auction. She is actually the only one that I picked up. Up next is this vintage Lulu's. This is like a 3D reverse painted shadow box painting. I am only a couple dollars into this. This is Lulu's. You can see there, 1977. So a couple bucks and it sold for $41.99. I love like the vintage retro framed art. You can get it cheap most times at garage sales and thrift stores and this one was close to a $38 profit. Next, and you guys are gonna laugh at me. This is the filter that I said I was gonna have a bonfire with. Well, I finally listed them and there were no sold comps and surprisingly, I sold two. The same day I listed them, they sold for 
$20 each so they're going out for a little over $40 I did do free shipping shipping is gonna be quite a bit I am honestly like pennies into these so I will see what shipping costs I will put it up on the screen because they are almost four pounds they're for like heavy-duty trucks so I'm thinking I'll only make about five dollar profit each but I'm okay with that and they're moving out of the loft up next is a another ephemera piece this is our colorado switzerland of america i've had this one for about a year and i paid less than a dollar it's sold for 1102 plus the buyer paid four dollars in shipping making it about nine dollar profit there and then we sold another kachina doll yay I love I love these guys and I love selling them I am about ten dollars in and this one is mud face and he is signed there on the bottom 1987 and he sold for $91 so he is over a $75 profit up next this and I was really surprised this took that long to sell. So I have 14 watchers on this super cool mid-century modern looking cat. And I am less than a dollar in a box lot. And he sold for $12.49. Making him about a $9 to $10 profit. Cool has a little bow on the back. And there were tons of watchers. And I had them priced pretty low. So I'm not sure what took so long. Then for my last haul, I picked this up at Fireflies Antiques in Inglis, which is actually only about half an hour for me. This is the Tanala piece that I asked you guys if it looked like a cat because it says cat on the bottom. But I think it's a llama. And after some research, cat is actually the artist. Cat is not what this was. So I paid $5 for this one and it sold for $19 plus shipping, making it about $13 profit and it sold in less than a day or two Russell Wright these are Steubenville I bought a ton of Russell Wright probably about two years ago now from an antique mall closeout and a lot of it moved fast and then there are these few straggling pieces so these have been here a while the two sold for six dollars and 68 cents they'll be about a five dollar profit because that dish lot is well into the profit at this point so these two little drip glaze are not branded and I paid a dollar, they sold for $15.74. So if stuff looks cool, I still do pick it up. Really cool. I always, I said in my last thrifting video, I'll, I do always pick up the brown drip glaze just because I like the way they look. Golf Club, you guys saw me pick up at Swanee Thrift here, local to me. This is a Callaway nine degree driver and I paid $4 for this club. It sold for $30 plus shipping. The buyer paid 10 in shipping. And these ship really light. They ship for a two pound rate, so they're not expensive to ship. And this will be close to a $24 profit. And over on Poshmark, I sold this really cool dance serving plate. And this one sold for $25. I picked this up at the flea market for $5. Dance can be a really good brand, especially this cobalt blue and like coral pattern and this will be a $20 profit on Poshmark. So Poshmark does have a home section. I keep saying that I am going to stop selling on Poshmark and then I get sales. We have three going out on Poshmark today. So I've kind of just let it sit there. Next is this cool fish bandana. This one you guys saw me pick up for two for five dollars at a little local thrift store here sold in less than a week i paid 250 this is echo brand which is a great brand i've learned through selling scarves there's your tag and this one sold for 38 dollars in 24 cents plus the buyer paid five dollars in shipping making it over a 30 dollar profit on a scarf in less than a week so check the brands that one being bright and being fish and it is summer definitely helped it sell fast this is not impressive and i only got this set because i wanted the teapot which sold for over a hundred dollars and i figured i had the rest so these three bowls this is garden bouquet i would not pick this pattern up unless it was a serving piece these three sold for 515 plus shipping but i'm way in the profit so about a four dollar and fifty cent profit this is one of the really pretty blown art bases from my auction haul 
and I'm about $12 and it sold for $46 in less than a week plus the buyer paid 11 in shipping making this about a $30 profit. And this is a vintage runner needle so this is to fix pantyhose runs and I got this in a lot. I'm pennies in. I looked it up. Comps look decent. It sold for $14.99 plus the buyer paid five dollars in shipping making it over 13 dollar profit so this is what it it had like its little paper in there the runner needle and it's just like a little plastic needle i don't wear pantyhose so i didn't have any try it out on up next this is some flower garden towels it does have the towels it has the thread and this is from my mom so i am slitting this with her it sold for 850 plus the buyer paid four dollars in shipping making this about a seven dollar profit that i will split with my mom next is this big old chicken this is like a talavera chicken planner i picked this up while i was up in cincinnati ohio i only paid three dollars for this planner and it sold for 45 dollars plus the buyer paid 13 in shipping so not too bad and it was only listed about a month next is this coleman lantern that says chad on it it's a chad version <laughs> i paid two dollars for this up at a garage sale in cincinnati ohio and it sold in less than two days for 46 dollars plus shipping the buyer paid $12.50 making it over $40 profit so keep your eye out for Coleman lanterns this one was model 220e and it was from 1960 if you see the 60 there on the bottom next is another one of these golf clubs this is a Callaway number no. three Warbird again got a Swanee thrift here locally for four dollars sold for $22.49 in less than a week making about $15 profit we still have one more golf club going out too actually I'll go ahead and show you it so this one sold over on Mercari this is a tailor-made rescue three this one sold for $46 plus shipping this was in a big lot of golf clubs i got a couple months back i paid 100 for all of them well into the profit and this one's going to be about a 42 dollar profit next is this little art glass flower here and this one was on the cart lot my favorite cart lot ever and i'm about five dollars in per item it is already in the profit though this one sold for 26 dollars plus shipping making it about an 18 dollar profit over on poshmark i sold this villains puzzle i paid i think eight dollars for this at walmart got it forever ago kind of trying to get into the puzzle shortage uh when the pandemic first hit was not a good idea for me but this one's over 23 over on poshmark and will make about a 10 dollar profit and i think i have like three more puzzles left and then also on poshmark i sold this kansas ranshaw handkerchief this one i am a dollar or two in and it's over 30 dollars over on poshmark making this little bitty handkerchief a $25 profit if you see here you can see the state and this one does still have the paper tag and honestly though in my listing them I did not change my price according to whether they saw the paper tag or not it was based on how popular they were and then this goat that I got at my little local thrift store as well less than a month ago it sold for 15 over on Mercari paid five so it'll be about an eight dollar profit after fees and then I sold this paperweight and actually this was like the most boring blah one and it sold pretty fast sold for 12 bucks so i am happy with that and i'm breaking even on it because i'm about that much in each paperweight and then we sold vegas vacation for six dollars making that about a five dollar profit over on facebook marketplace I sold this florida gators hat for nine dollars i'm a dollar in this is going to be about a seven dollar profit and then last i sold a bunch of teacher stamps for five dollars on facebook marketplace 
So that is it. Probably about a six to seven hundred dollar profit over the weekend. So not too bad. I'm happy with that. It is slower than last weekend. Hopefully it will pick back up. I'm hoping to get more stuff listed today. So I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys tomorrow for a live. I will be having a special co-host, Dale Flippin Fiasco, and our guest will be Dagny Flying Pick Thrifts and Carol Butterfly Hustles. So make sure you set the reminder for that live tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.